two day emergency meeting. This became necessary as a result of the recent disturbances in some parts of the northern province. The aim was to explore the root causes of the disturbances and explore ways and means of restoring immediate peace in the present area and make recommendations to the Mexican government. Satisfied Amy's in chief of Brazil and Lugard Hall for this crucial of the country passed into the hands of the armed forces. It had been my intention to invite you kids to Kaduna periodically for consultation so that the government can have the benefit of your value and mature experience in planning the administration and economy of the country. I had intended that the first meeting would take place this month. I regret very much that we had to meet earlier than planned under rather sad circumstances. Touching on the military decree of 24th May 1966, which abolished the former regions and provided for one nation's government, he said, Any office carrying an initial salary not exceeding 2,292 pounds is to be treated as having been delegated to the provincial Commission. He went on. Since the announcement of the decree, there have been grumbles and rumors which indicated that the measures adopted have not pleased certain people. Everybody knows that it is not every time that measures adopted by the government please everybody. In any sensible society, when government action displeases any group of interests, there are established ways of so informing the government. If it is the right duty of every citizen, let the government know if he thinks any of its actions are wrong or unduly. Again, the citizen can express his views in the press, or he can address petitions that the government. A greater but the the Talking of the recent disturbances in some parts of the northern provinces, Lefton Khan has said. Innocent lives of Nigerian citizens who had nothing to do with the introduction of these measures were lost. Property of innocent citizens was destroyed and hardship inflicted on many people. And then he went on. 
You will all recall the behavior of our people after the event of January 15. The fact that our reaction was calm and mature after those sad events was an indication that our people do not panic and want to settle problems facing them in a peaceful and civilized manner. Now, the good reputation which we have rightly earned by our behavior stands in danger of being shattered. On the military government's determination to mount a crash program for education and training in the northern provinces, the military governor called on the AMS in chief to say that this good intention is backed up by determined voluntary efforts so that these provinces can catch up with the rest of Nigeria in the shortest possible time. I have spoken to you at length because the situation warrants it. I know that you will all do your best on your return home to say that law and order are maintained. You will also do your best to say that those with any views and ideas to put forward bring them up constitutionally and peacefully. I hope that you will awaken the spirit of effort and endeavor in all our people. This must be a continuous effort and not one for all. I now leave you in case you wish to discuss among yourselves and bring forward any suggestions to me. I pray Allah to help us in all our good deeds and intentions. Historic gathering of Northern Nigeria for a conference in London. This was to be no ordinary conference, however. Delegates from